I'm Sue Dengenis, Director of Marketing. Um, today's webinar topic, people are continuing to stream in here, but uh, as we only have 15 minutes, we need to get started on time. So today's webinar topic is P6 Interoperability with Synchro Pro. Uh, the webinar is being presented by Jacqueline Chen. Jacqueline is a 4D specialist in our VDC team. She has a master's degree in architecture, engineering, and construction from Carnegie Mellon. And she works from our office in Berkeley, California. And uh, I'm going to let uh, Jacqueline take it away. OK, thanks, Sue. Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Chan. And then I, before I start, I want to thank you for spending time with us in Synchro's 15-minute webinar. I hope you will find it very informational and helpful for implementing 4D on your own projects. Um, today, I want to go through a couple of basics regarding bringing P6 schedule data into Synchro. Also, if you have any question regarding this topic, please feel free to type it in, in the question box at the bottom of the window. We will try to answer as many questions as possible during the webinar. For those who are not able, uh, for those that we are not able to cover, we will follow up via email. Let's start now. Okay, as you may know, there are currently two ways to bring your P6 schedule data into Synchro. If you're familiar with Synchro, you will know that prior to this version 5.1, traditionally Synchro allows P6 API enabled import or export. This will require Synchro Pro connected to P6 PPM installed locally or P6 ePPM remotely via the P6 integration API, which must be installed and configured on the local machine. Also, you may have noticed that in this latest release of Synchro Pro, which is version 5.1, you will find an option to import a P6 file from the menu. Um, I'm planning to start from the new feature, which is to import P6 schedule to Synchro via a P6 XML file. And if we have enough time, we will go over what I call the old way to bring P6 schedule into Synchro through the P6 API. Now that you can see my screen, I have brought in the model here. And then before I really start, I want to i uh, show you guys how to check your um, Synchro version. So I think we just released 5.1.2.3 yesterday. So if you go to help, okay. if you go to help, uh, check for updates, you will see a window uh, to say that you have, uh, there is a new version that you should upgrade or update. Okay, so let's go back to the topic. So here I've brought in some model data, and then now the next thing I want to bring in is a schedule. As I mentioned earlier, if you go to the um, uh, green icon, synchro icon, at the top left corner of your screen, and then move your cursor over import, and then click on P6, Primavera P6, you will see the P6 import window. In this window, you will find there are two choices for you to bring in a P6. P6 schedule. Um, so I'm going to start with this new feature um, um, for this um, version 5.1 and then talk about the old way. So what I need right now is a P6 XML file. So I will go to my, go back to my P6. This is a schedule that I prepared for this webinar. So you can see that this schedule has probably more than 2,000 activities. So what I need is to go to File, and then click on Export. In this window here, make sure you choose the third option from the top, which is the P6 XML. And then you can click on Next. In this window, we're just going to leave the default settings, and then click on Next. And then in this file name window, you want you to make sure this box is unchecked, which is um, export all project level layouts. So if you uncheck it, the file extension will become XML, which is what we need. And then if you click on this small button here, it will let you to decide where to save the file. So right now, I'm just going to delete the old file that I saved, right? And then um, I will save it on my desktop. I'll name it as Demo Schedule. And then you will see the file extension is um, XML, and then hit Save. 
So now it's all set, you just need to click on finish. Since this is a huge schedule, and then it'll probably take three more seconds. Yeah, okay, it's done. So it says export completed. Now I'm gonna close this window. Let's go back to Synchro. If you forget where to bring in the schedule file, that's okay. So let's redo it. Let's go to the green icon, green Synchro um, icon at the top left corner of your window. Go to import and then go to P6. Under data source, make sure you choose file because we're gonna bring in a P6 XML file. Click on browse to uh, browse to the location of the file. Double click to open it. And then now you will see underneath, underneath list of projects, the a name of the project um, has popped up. And then simply you will just need to click on um, next. Uh, we can leave the default settings here, but once you are more familiar with Synchro, you can pretty much play with all the settings uh, to bring in the data that you want to bring to Synchro only. Now I'm just going to leave the default settings there and then click on import. Okay, it's probably going to take a little while, so. Yeah, so now you can see the uh, import is successful, and then the all 99% of the warning messages here about the uh, empty WBS. Uh, basically, you, if you're familiar with both P6 and Synchro, you will know they are slightly different from each other. Um, so in this case, it doesn't really matter because the empty WBS um, doesn't contain anything, so they don't get in, they don't get to be imported into Synchro. So I'm just going to hit finish to finish the import, import process. And then you will see the, this schedule, which has more than 2,000 activities have been imported into Synchro via a P6 XML file already. OK, so this is pretty much for the P6 XML um, file import, which is the new feature of uh, this latest version of Synchro, which is 5.1. So since we I believe we have some new users in the audience. I want to quickly go through what I call the old way, which is to import via the P6 API. So I will just undo my import right now. And then similarly, I will click on the green synchro icon at the top left corner, go to import, and then click on P6. Okay, different from the first method, right? Uh, under data source, I will choose database this time because I have both P6 and Synchro installed on the same computer. And then the next thing I will need to do is to load database. Make sure here you're typing the same username and password that you use to log into your P6 database or your P6. So just to make sure, Synchro should automatically remember the password already after your first connection to the P6 database, but in this case, I'll just retype in. Okay, I will hit connect next. You will see all my projects um, that are listed um, in my P6 database, P6, um, Primavera P6, are listing here now underneath list of projects. Okay, right now I would just need to find my demo schedule, which is here, and I can click on next. Right now let's assume I'm already very experienced with the uh, import process, and then I only want to probably bring in three of, or four um, types of um, um, objects into Synchro. So, Let's assume that I'll do skip all first, and then I want to bring only tasks, links, task constraints, calendars into Synchro. These are probably the most important thing for a scheduler. And then once it's done, I'll hit import. So the import process is going to take maybe three more seconds. Please bear with, with me. Yes, you pretty much see the um, 
um, you know, the warning windows, uh, the warning messages about the empty WBS, which is okay. So the import is successful, and then I'll hit finish to um, finish the process. Okay, now you can see the schedule has been brought into Synchro, and then there are more than 2,000 activities. Okay, so this is pretty much two ways to bring uh, uh, P6 schedule data into Synchro. Although we don't have um, enough time to cover uh, synchronization, schedule synchronization today, I want to quickly summarize its difference. So from my understanding, uh, P6 XML enabled import or export to Synchro allows for synchronized from an updated P6 XML file. If you want to bring an updated Synchro schedule back into P6, you will have to export a P6 XML file, then open P6 to import the new P6 XML file. Also, please note that through the P6 API enabled import or export. In addition, uh, well, the updated or modified schedule data can be imported or exported to Synchro using Synchronize2 and from. Since Synchronize2 directly writes into P6 database, I would recommend you to make a copy of the original schedule in P6 before synchronization. Okay, this is pretty much what I have for today's 15-minute webinar. Now I'm ready for questions. Okay, great. Thanks, Jacqueline. Um, so there are a couple questions here, and if anyone else has questions, please submit them. Um, where can I find the P6 API download? Okay, so um, the P6 API download can be found uh, from Synchro's website, which I have open here, I think. Yeah, so if you go to uh, SynchroRTD.com and then go to this page, Support it and Downloads, and then under Downloads, you should be able to find underneath the section Plugins. Here, uh, the first one is the Primavera API download. Please note that both P6 and API must be the same version, and any instruction can be found in Synchro Help. Uh, some people may not know how to check P6 version, but it's here. My version says P6 8.2, version 8.2, and then you will need to download the P6 API that matches your P6 version. In my case, will be P6 API version 8.2. And then after you successfully download it to your um, computer, um, and then install it, you will need to make sure, for your first connection, you will need to make sure that in Synchro, go to Options, um, and then underneath um, Synchronization, and then choose P6, you will need to define the um, API path. So you would just simply browse to, um, mo in most cases, it'll be your C drive, and then browse to this folder, and then hit OK, and then hit OK to apply the change. Basically, after that, you should be able to bring P6 data successfully into Synchro, because Synchro Pro can now connect to P6 PPM installed locally or P6 EPPM remotely via the P6 integration API, which have been installed and configured on the local machine. Please note that both the P6 and API must be the same version, and the API configuration instruction can be found in the Synchro help. Okay, we have another couple minutes. Uh, another question, why is P6 XML export, why is the option grayed out in my P6? Uh, okay, I had this question before. Uh, so the answer to that, that question is that this is not in a synchro issue. So basically, you will need to go to um, Oracle's website, which is this one, to download the latest version of JRE. And then make sure that's installed on, this, on the computer. And then once it's done, um, you should be able to export P6XML. Yeah, so my option, before I install JRE and then make all the settings right, my option is grayed out too, what's grayed out too. So if your company has an IT department, I strongly recommend you to work with them to have them figure out for you instead of messing with it by yourself. 
Okay, and we'll take one last question here. There are a couple more, and we will follow up with you afterwards. But last question is, do I, uh, do I need to uninstall Synchro 4 to install Synchro 5, and can I check updates to download the latest? I think you can check updates to download the latest. Um, if any set, well, I think at the end of the installation, uh, it will ask you, do you want to restore to the settings that, um, um, you know, suitable, more suitable for the latest and greatest version of Synchro. You can pretty much choose whatever you want. Um, so let's just, you know, review this again. Uh, if you want to update, upgrade your Synchro, you pretty much just need to go to the top right corner, uh, click on Help, and then the uh, second from the bottom option there is to check for updates. And then if uh, after you click on that option, you will see like a window to say that if you do you want to download the latest and greatest version of Synchro. And then you should be able to upgrade from there. So you don't need to, I don't think you will need to uninstall Synchro.